Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my clinical biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about all kinds of metabolism issues, such as lactose intolerance, classic galactosemia, mild galactosemia, fructose urea, hereditary fructose intolerance. Those are the carbohydrates. Then we turn our attention to the proteins in the amino acid metabolic disorders. And these included phenylketonuria, alkaptonuria, tyrosinemia or tyrosinosis, and today's topic, maple syrup urine disease, where my urine smells like maple syrup, smells like burnt sugar. Maple is to be found on the Canadian flag. Now, can someone tell me what's the name of the plant on the flag of Lebanon? Let me know in the comments. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. Diet is carbohydrate, protein, and fat. We talked about the disorders of carbohydrate metabolism. Now we're here, protein and amino acid metabolic disorders. After this, we'll talk about fat. Amino acids are the building block of proteins. Why do we call them amino acids? Because they have an amino group and a carboxylic acid group amino acid. How many amino acids are there? Many. How many proteogenic amino acids are in the human body? 20. Today we shall focus on valine, leucine, and isoleucine. Look at this beauty. These are the 20 proteogenic amino acids. Each one has a name, a one-letter abbreviation, and a three-letter abbreviation. 20 amino acids are here. Most of them, look at the green circle, can give you glucose. So what do you call them? Glucogenic amino acids. Amazing. Only two amino acids cannot give you glucose, but can turn into ketone bodies. So we call them ketogenic amino acids, and these include lysine and leucine. And there are a bunch in the middle that can give you glucose or ketone bodies, glucogenic and ketogenic. So, valine is glucogenic, leucine is ketogenic, but isoleucine is both. Maple syrup urine disease is inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion. I've told you before, when the disease is autosomal recessive, odds are there is an enzyme deficiency. What's the name of that enzyme that is deficient? Branched chain alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase. First, let's talk about the normal. Normally, we have branched chain amino acids. That's why I told you to focus on three amino acids today. Valine, leucine, isoleucine. They are branched chain in their chemical molecular structure. Therefore, the branched chain amino acids by a branched chain amino acid or alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase will give us what? Some of them will give me succinyl-CoA, acetyl-CoA, others will give me acetyl-CoA, acetoacid, so it's like a combination of these. And what do I do with these? Well, you can enter into the TCA cycle and give me energy. You can enter into the TCA cycle and then go up to become glucose. This is called gluconeogenesis. Genesis means formation of glucose from neo, new sources. What do you mean by new sources? non-carbohydrate sources. Oh, like from proteins, from amino acids. Exactly. Valine can give you glucose because it's glucogenic. Isoleucine can give you glucose because it's glucogenic and ketogenic. But leucine can never give you glucose. Leucine can give you ketone bodies such as acetone, acetoacetic acid, and beta-hydroxybutyric acid. Acetone does not have biochemical significance for your body, but acetoacetate and beta-hydroxybutyrate have metabolic importance. They can provide you with some energy, especially during the fasting state or starving state. This key enzyme requires vitamin B1 or thiamine as a coenzyme. It is present mainly in muscle and other extrahepatic tissue. Now to the disease, maple syrup urine disease, autosomal recessive disease, what's the problem? Deficiency of the branched chain alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase. The enzyme is toast. Therefore, everything before the enzyme will go up and everything after the enzyme will go down. 
because this step has been blocked. Accumulation of the branched chain amino acids, valine, leucine, isoleucine in the blood, and the urine will give me symptoms. When you have lots of gunk in your blood, you'll feel bad, you'll vomit. When you have lots of small food particles, so to speak, your body will say, enough is enough, I don't want more. Do you think I'll be able to give you glucose in gluconeogenesis? No, so I get hypoglycemia. Is this good for my brain? No, the favorite source of energy for your brain is glucose. What can I get? Seizure, progressive neurological decline if the disease is not treated. Not enough sugar for the brain is not good for you. Failure to thrive. Severe cases can lead to death if not treated. The accumulation of valine, leucine, isoleucine in the urine are characteristic because they give me the classic burnt sugar odor or maple syrup odor. How can I manage these patients? Decrease intake of these three, valine, leucine, isoleucine. And just in case there is a little enzyme of this present and working, give me that coenzyme to help the enzyme. So increase the intake of thiamine, which is vitamin B1. Have you watched my video on urine odors? It was epic. You will find it in my labs playlist. I also have another video titled Abnormal Body Odors. We talked about ketone bodies, which include beta-hydroxybutyric acid and acetoacetic acid. These are acids. If I have a ketosis, if it's severe enough, it can lead to ketoacidosis. What is diabetic ketoacidosis? What is alcoholic ketoacidosis? And what's the difference? What's the difference between acidosis with high anion gap and acidosis with normal anion gap? What is base excess? What's the base deficit? Learn about all of these crazy topics by downloading my acid base imbalance course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, smash like, hit the bell, support my channel here or here. Go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you'd like me to personally tutor you in any medical topic. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Nanos, where medicine makes perfect sense.